The Sagan Conspiracy, NASA's Untold Plot to Suppress the People's Scientists' Theory of Ancient Aliens, by Donald L. Zagudis, offers a provocative examination of celebrated astronomer and science communicator Carl Sagan's career and academic interests, suggesting that his ideas about alien life and its potential influence on human history were more controversial and boldly speculative than the general public realizes. Zagudis presents the idea that early in his career, particularly in his doctoral dissertation and later in some of his published works, Carl Sagan expressed a genuine interest in, and even a belief in the possibility of, ancient alien visitations having influenced human civilization. These speculations were directly related to the ideas presented in the controversial ancient astronaut theories, which propose that extraterrestrial beings have visited Earth and made contact with humans in antiquity, potentially affecting their culture, knowledge, myths, and technological development. The book delves into a detailed examination of Sagan's academic papers, books, and public statements to reveal an evolution in his portrayal of extraterrestrial intelligence and ancient astronaut theories. Initially, Sagan seems open to discussing non-mainstream ideas related to extraterrestrial life and its impact on human development. However, as his career progresses and his public visibility increases through his involvement with NASA, and his work on projects such as the Golden Record aboard the Voyager spacecraft, Sagan begins to distance himself from these unconventional viewpoints. Zagutis hypothesizes that as Sagan's celebrity status grew, especially after the success of his television series Cosmos, certain interests within NASA and the broader scientific community may have pressured him into adopting a more skeptical stance on the topic of ancient aliens. According to the author, this suggested suppression was not only directed at Sagan's personal beliefs, but was also part of a larger effort to maintain a specific narrative concerning extraterrestrial life and its interaction, or lack thereof, with humanity. The author attempts to piece together evidence of a potential conspiracy to, to downplay or dismiss Sagan's early views on ancient aliens through an analysis of both direct citations from Sagan's work and the author's interpretations of the implications behind his writings. He cites key points where Sagan appeared to concede that the likelihood of ancient alien contact was not zero, even if improbable by conventional standards. Zagutis interprets this as an indication that Sagan's scientific curiosity about alien life and its historical influence was significant and real, despite appearing subdued in his latter public persona. Throughout the book, Zagutis draws attention to various instances where he believes Sagan faced institutional pushback or felt compelled to present his hypotheses in a manner designed to avoid controversy. This, the author claims, not only influenced Sagan's public communication, but also contributed to general skepticism regarding the ancient astronaut theory among the public and the scientific community. Zagutis continues to explore the nuances of Sagan's career trajectory noting that although Sagan became known for his staunchly scientific approach and his efforts to debunk pseudoscience, there remained traces of openness to speculative ideas in his writings. The book suggests that Sagan's participation in projects like the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, and his overtures to the possibility of discovering alien life form, a subtle yet undeniable thread connecting him to the very ideas he is purported to have distanced himself from later in his life. The author posits that the suppression of Sagan's early thoughts on ancient aliens might have represented a broader agenda by NASA and the scientific establishment to control the narrative around extraterrestrial life to ensure it remained within certain parameters deemed acceptable or realistic. Such control, Zagutis argues, would prevent the diversion of public interest and resources from mainstream scientific endeavors in space exploration and ensure that the more sensational ancient astronaut concepts did not gain unwarranted credibility. Zagutis's book is not just an exploration of Sagan's early career views, but is also a criticism of what the author sees as a calculated effort to marginalize theories that challenge the status quo. This, he suggests, is done through a mix of institutional pressure and academic gatekeeping, which can inhibit the progression of unconventional, but potentially valid hypotheses about human history 
and the possibility of extraterrestrial interactions with our ancestors. In the closing sections of the book, Zagutis calls for a reassessment of Sagan's full range of ideas, encouraging a more open discussion and investigation of the possibilities of ancient extraterrestrial encounters as initially pondered by Sagan. By highlighting what he believes to be a cover-up of Sagan's more speculative leanings, the author advocates for intellectual freedom and the pursuit of hypotheses that, while controversial, could offer profound implications for our understanding of humanity's place in the cosmos. The Sagan Conspiracy is ultimately a narrative that interweaves the history of one of the 20th century's most influential scientists with a call to acknowledge the complexity of his thoughts and beliefs, especially regarding the controversial subject of ancient aliens. Zagutis' assertions about an alleged conspiracy to suppress these beliefs are aimed at both paying homage to Carl Sagan's spirit of inquiry and challenging the scientific community to remain open to speculative, yet potentially revolutionary ideas. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.